Hello and welcome to problem 12 in my calculus 3 or multivariable calculus problem solving series. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to evaluate double integrals over a rectangular region. So previously, you've learned how to take the integral of functions in two dimensions, and this gave you the area underneath the function. But in today's video, we're going to be looking at double integrals in three dimensions and how you can take the integral of a region or a surface in three dimensions. So what is the double integral? Well, instead of having a curve in two dimensions, we're now integrating a surface in three dimensions. So we have f of x comma y, which is our surface. And what does the double integral mean? Well, the double integral, when we integrated a two-dimensional curve, we took the area under the curve. The double integral is sort of like taking the volume underneath this portion of the surface. And the portion of the surface is determined by the bounds on A for on Y, which are A and B, and our bounds on X, which are C and D. And if these bounds are constant, which they are right now, we get a rectangle on the xy plane. And so we see that we have this figure and the double integral will take the volume of this figure. So the way to write this is the double integral across the region, which is the, the area here on the xy plane of f of x comma y, our surface, so the height of the surface, times dA which is a small piece of the area on the region. So what this is doing is taking the height, which is the, the, the value of the function, and multiplying it by a small piece of the area, and then adding it up both on the x direction and on the y direction, giving us volume. Another way to represent this is to write it out like this. You have two integrals where you can sort of imagine that these two are kind of separated like this. So you're taking the first, the inside integral first, and then you're doing the outside integral. So you would do the integral from C to D of F of X comma Y DX, and then integrate from A to B uh, DY of whatever this gives you. And when you're integrating, just like in partial derivatives, when you're integrating for one variable, you're treating the other variable as constant. So the inside integral here is integrating along x. So it's going to leave the y variable as constant. And the on the outside integral, you're leaving x as constant. So if you're integrating along y, then you would leave x as constant. So let's go ahead and look at an example of how to calculate these double integrals. So here we have the surface 2x minus 4y cubed. And our bounds for the surface, our bounds for the y are 0 to 3. And our bounds for the x are negative 5 to 4. So you can sort of imagine that you have two separate integrals, and we're going to calculate the first integral first, the, the inside integral first. So this is just the integral of 0 to 3 of 2x minus 4y cubed dy. So we're integrating y. So what's the integral of 2x with respect to y? That would be 2xy since the, we're treating the x as constant. And the integral of minus 4y cubed is minus 4y to the power of 4 over 4. And then these cancel out. And so we're left with 2xy minus y to the power of 4, and we're evaluating this from 0 to 3. 
And remember that this outside integral is still here, so we still have to write it. From minus 5 to 4 dx. So now we're going to swap out. We're going to evaluate this from 0 to 3. So we're going to replace the y with 0 and 3. And this will give us the double, the second integral is still there. So minus 5 to 4 of, well, when it's 0, this whole thing equals 0. So when it's 3, it's 2 times x times 3 minus 3 to the power of 4 dx. And so now we are left with only x variables. So the y is gone. And we can integrate this with respect to x. So we're left with the integral from negative 5 to 4 of 6x minus 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So 6x minus 81 dx. So the integral of 6x is going to be uh, 3x squared. And the integral of 81 is 81x. And we're going to evaluate this from negative 5 to 4. So it would be 3 times 4 squared minus 81 times 4 minus 3 times negative 5 squared minus 81 times negative 5. So I finished the calculation here. So 3 times 4 squared is 48, minus 81 times 4 is 324, minus 3 times 5 to the power of 2, 75, minus 81 times negative 5 is 405. And when you simplify this, you get minus 756. And this is going to be, if you're looking for the volume, it's going to be units uh, squared, no, cubed, sorry, units cubed, because it's volume. So this is how to calculate double integrals. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below what video I should do next. Thanks for watching.